offenses will come. Matthew chapter 18, verses 6 and 7, Jesus said, Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world because of offenses. For offenses must come, but woe to that man by whom the offense comes. In these two verses, Jesus is revealing several things to us concerning offenses. Uh, in verse 6, he, uh, the word offense is translated to sin, uh, to cause one of these little ones who believe in him to sin. So really an offense uh, uh, can come and uh, with the intent of causing one of uh, the disciples of Jesus, causing a disciple of Jesus to go astray and to fall into sin. Now, Jesus says in verse 7, you know, the world, uh, it, it is full of offenses. Uh, that, that, that's, the, that's the world in which we live, a world in, that, that, is, that will hurt each other, uh, that will uh, cause each other to, to that will lay traps and snares and stumbling blocks uh, for one another. That's in the world. Woe to the world because it's, it's full of offenses. And he says, you know, offenses will come. But he says, look, if somebody is going to place an offense against even a little, the young, the most, the least of the believers, in order to take them away from faith in Christ, he says, woe to that man. Meaning God himself will deal with that person. So here's something for us to understand. Offenses will come. We live in a world that is full of it. Uh, you and I, especially as we engage with people, uh, cannot say, God, I don't want to get offended by anybody. Look, you live in a world where that's full of offenses. Offenses will come. But when offenses come, here's the thing that you and I must understand, that God will deal with those who bring that to us. And God deals with severity for those who who will bring offenses of inducements to sin, lay snares and stumbling blocks in the paths of God's own people, causing them to sin. God himself will deal with such. So when an offense comes your way, when somebody says or does things that offends you, this is something important to keep in mind, that you let God handle it. You let God vindicate you rather than you and I trying to take matters in our own hands and retaliate and uh, get, e get even with the person or the people who are offending us. You release it to God. God is watching and He's watching even the, the offense that comes to the, these little ones, Jesus said who believes in him, the least of his disciples who trust in him. God is watching that. God is mindful of that. And God himself will deal on your behalf because he is watching every offense that comes even to the least of his disciples. You are not unnoticed when an offense comes your way. Leave it to God. Rather than taking matters in your hands, let him deal with it. We live in a world of, of offenses. Offenses will come. But God is watching. Let him be your vindicator. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you are mindful of what comes our way. You are mindful of things that hurt us. And even you said, Lord, that even the little ones, who believe in you. You're mindful of each one of us. And so God, we place offenses, things that people have said or done to hurt us. We release them to you and we ask that you will intervene on our behalf in such matters. And we thank you that you will take up our case and be our vindicator in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.